Did you know that NXP Semiconductors has been a key player in high-speed data converters for many years? Indeed, this activity began in the early 80s around the RF and analog mixed signal core expertise at the Kahn R&D Centre in Normandy, France. In the days of Philips Semiconductors, high-performance products were reserved only for internal customers and a few external partners. Today, NXP opens its technology to the wider market, not only by introducing new products, but also offering new system references and standards for the most demanding applications. Welcome to this brief overview of NXP high-speed data converters and enjoy the sense of innovation now available to everyone. A few words about our positioning. Data converters are split into two main categories, general purpose and high speed. NXP has a strong presence in the second category, which promises the highest growth. NXP is present in both high speed ADC and high speed DAC domains. This is a unique combination when we know that NXP also provides leading edge RF solutions, including power amplifiers that offers customers a single source for a complete transceiver chain. Some examples about our lead segments. For many years we have provided wireless base stations with the most demanding multi-carrier GSM architectures for GSM, GSM-Edge, WCDMA and LTE. Our expertise in this sector extends to all transceiver systems for professional and fixed communication systems. This includes satellite systems and high-precision GPS products. Serving the most advanced transceiver applications includes extending the qualifications for military and space following official related standards such as LAT or MIL883. NXP has proven its capabilities in this domain and is ready to supply specialised packaging for extreme conditions and characterization on demand. The range of ADC applications is huge with various possible resolutions and speeds. We have classified the different ADC architectures as follows. Flash architecture, used for the high speeds and bandwidth, but today allows limited resolution and requires high power dissipation. Successive approximation register architecture, closely matching general purpose ADCs. Sigma delta architecture, used for the lowest bandwidth and the highest resolution. NXP high-speed ADCs today are based on either folding or pipeline architectures, providing best-in-class dynamic performance at the lowest possible power dissipation. Such architectures today are addressing 80% of the total high-speed ADC market. NXP has chosen a product naming convention that easily identifies its operating conditions. The root name begins with either ADC or DAC, depending on the converter type. The second two digits signify the resolution, from 08 up to 16 for example. The third two digits differentiate several possible options or features. The fourth digit indicates the number of channels. The last three digits represent the speed, such as 020 for 20 mega samples per second, 125 for 125 mega samples per second, 1G0 for 1 giga samples per second, and 2G5 for 2.5 giga samples per second. As an example, ADC 1613D125 stands for a dual 16 bit ADC operating at 125 mega samples per second. 13 refers to a specific version of converters that have the celebrated JESD204A serial interface, which we will describe in a moment. This is NXP's current portfolio for both high-speed ADCs and DACs. It basically brings all the most popular products, which up to now were reserved for internal Philips partners, or a few key external partners. They are now ready and available to everyone. We see 
a collection of 8-bit ADCs which operate from 30 to 250 mega samples per second. Many complementary solutions in 10-bit ADCs from 20 to 70 mega samples per second. Some with internal voltage regulators, some without. Some operating at low input frequencies and others operating at high input frequencies. And a set of 12-bit ADCs from 40 to 80 mega samples per second. The ADC0801S040 is our oldest device, but today still offers the lowest power dissipation in its category and is very successful in high precision GPS. The ADC0808S250 offers huge flexibility in terms of usage and is often chosen in transmit loopback systems in telecommunications, for direct receivers and even in some types of medical equipment. Let's also mention the ADC 1207S080, which is the first high input frequency ADC in its category and widely used in communication systems. On the DAC side we see dual DACs from 10 bits and 12 bits to 14 bits, optimised for 125, 160 and 650 megasamples per second. A special mention here about our DAC 1401 D125 and the DAC 1403 D160, which are both pin to pin compatible with some vendors' products, but with a much lower power dissipation of up to 50% less. NXP is today introducing new sets of products, both ADCs and DACs. Let's look at the ADCs first. Indeed, 60 new ADCs, all based on a 16-bit platform which relies on a specific IP designed and optimised in complementary variants of Resolutions, from 10-bit to 16-bit Speed, from up to 65 to up to 125 megasamples per second Number of channels, single and dual With or without integrated input buffer with different alternative digital interfaces, LVC MOS, LVDS DDR, or the JESD 204A serial interface. All these products have specific silicon dies and all optimised for a given speed and resolution. For instance, the ADC 1610S080 provides higher dynamic performance if used at around 80 mega samples per second than the ADC 1610S125, which is more optimised for higher sampling rates. And of course, the ADC 1010S065 dissipates much less power than the ADC 1610S125, for instance. Quite an offer indeed, maximising the scope of applications and specific uses. At the same time, NXP is introducing a complete high-speed DAC portfolio, in the same way as for ADCs, NXP offers here a large scope of operating conditions and variants. Our new DACs operate at up to 650 and up to 750 megasamples per second and up to 1 gigasamples per second. These are designed in dual 10-bit, dual 12-bit, dual 14-bit and dual 16-bit versions. Also, the digital interface can be either LVC MOS with an input data rate up to 160 MHz, LVDS DDR up to 320 MHz, or JESD 204A serial interface, with an effective data rate up to 320 MHz on two 14 bit channels. So, yes, NXP has been present in the high speed data converter market for many years with new dynamic products. But do they bring anything new? Or are they just a me too alternative? What is the value of NXP high speed data converters? What are the benefits for choosing NXP? Indeed, there are many advantages offered by these products. Intrinsic best in class performance from the ADC or DAC cores. The possibility to simplify and secure the PCB design due to the JESD204A serial interface. 
the possibility to optimise performance with the optional integrated input buffer. A unique robust design solution that guarantees high and stable dynamic performance. This slide shows how NXP ACDs are positioned compared to the offers from other vendors. The graphs on the right side show different high-speed ADCs sorted by spurious free dynamic range on the y-axis and sorted by a figure of merit on the x-axis, which takes into account the power and effective number of bits directly linked to signal-to-noise ratio. The figure of merit formula is given under the graph. The smaller value is best. Other vendors offer higher performance but also with higher power dissipation or lower power solutions but with a lower spurious free dynamic range. NXP's 16-bit ADCs are proven to provide the best compromise. When applied to a typical receiver architecture, NXP enables up to 5 dBs better dynamic performance in the overall system. The same story applies to our DACs. Here is an example of WCDMA signals measured at the output of DAC 1405D750, a 750 megasamples per second dual 14-bit DAC from NXP, compared to a product from another vendor offering higher resolution and even higher speed capabilities. However, the adjacent channel leakage ratio, which is the key system parameter, is 6 dBs better with NXP's solution. NXP data converters have often surprised customers, not only with good performance, but also with NXP's ability to drive new standards and system definitions. Indeed, NXP is actively working on JEDEC serial interface definitions and has demonstrated the world's first JEDEC JESD204A based data converter during the IMS 2009 in Boston by announcing NXP claims first to market leadership with high speed converters compliant to new JEDEC interface standards. The JEDEC JESD204A option from NXP offers a major step up in signal robustness between data converters and the digital world. Indeed, it provides serialization and deserialization protocols relying on both I.O. synchronization and frame alignment. Moreover, the standard is based on 8-bit and 10-bit coding and optional scrambling, which enables spike-free transmission. This is a unique solution compared to all other high-speed digital interface alternatives. Altogether, these serial links are self-controlled and easily designed on a PCB. A conventional LVC MOS or parallel LVDS interface requires, for example, up to 56 wires for a dual 14-bit converter. The JESD 204A interface drastically reduces pin count by enabling only one serial lane running at up to 3.125 gigabits per second. In this example, it is equivalent to a data rate of up to 312.5 megasamples per second. One of the main advantages is the easier PCB design and the reduced number of PCB layers. In certain cases, a reduction from 12 to only 8 layers is possible. No more parallel wires to be calibrated and no more large bus space. Significantly, significantly reducing the overall routing area between the data, converter and field programmable gate array, saving up to 50%. A major speciality of this standard is the possibility to handle a major speciality of this standard is the possibility to handle several lanes in parallel. Quite a unique solution not to be limited any more by the maximum data rate of a single lane. Providing multiple parallel lanes offers much higher bandwidth to the system, up to twice more than serial LVDs for instance. The JESD 204A standard defines one more point of flexibility the possibility to extend the transmission length up to 40 centimetres. As a matter of fact, NXP's implementation of this standard 
exhibits a widely opened eye diagram even for a transmission PCB trace of over one meter. Noise immunity and inherent robustness of the standard, especially at high frequencies, makes the JESD204A a key and advanced feature in PCB designs. Moreover, the JESD204A standard is supported by the industry standard FPGA families, including Xilinx's Spartan and Vertex product families, Lattice's ECP2M and EPC3 product families, and Altera's Aria and Stratix product families. You will find more JESD204A related information on the NXP website. As an additional option, the NXP integrated input buffer feature allows more flexibility to drive the converter sampling circuitry. Indeed, the integrated buffer is designed to fit specifically with the ADC core, thus optimizing the power consumption in the overall system. Sampling clock feed trough or kickback effect on previous stages is cancelled, resulting in system design simplification and extra component savings. The integrated input buffer exhibits a constant and small input capacitance, thus giving a high input impedance over a wide frequency range. The waveform on the left shows the input signal of an ADC which is polluted due to the kickback effect of the device. The waveform on the right is the same signal input to an ADC equipped with an internal input buffer. As can be seen, the kickback effect due to the clock is removed thanks to the input buffer. One more key advantage of choosing NXP high-speed data converters. NXP's data converters integrate proprietary technology that enables our devices to maintain excellent dynamic performance across a wide temperature range. While the spurious free dynamic range of the competition has a variation of more than 8 dBs across the operating temperature range, our data converters vary by only 2.5 dBs. Whatever your application and the conditions of your application, you are guaranteed best-in-class dynamic performance. NXP High Speed Data Converters products are all available from www.nxp.com slash data converters. You'll find there the complete documentation descriptions, software and their updates. Also, a dedicated application support centre can be reached anytime at dataconverter-support at nxp.com. Please note that the demonstration boards are packed with related PC software, instructions, samples, cables and even the universal power supply. You get your setup working in less than 10 minutes. Product evaluation boards are complemented by extension modules such as an acquisition and generation board. Depending on the product, we also provide complete reference designs that can have an FPGA on board and which allow fast measurements under the cheapest possible conditions. All related documents are available online and in the CD-ROM. As an example, here is one of the high-end boards that enables the JESD204A serialization standard with one of our latest 14-bit ADCs. In less than 10 minutes, you will experience the high performance enabled by NXP high-speed data converters. As mentioned previously, the JESD204A standard is being supported by industry standard FPGA families, including Xilinx's Spartan and Vertex product families, Lattice's ECP2M and EPC3 product families, and Altera's Aria and Stratix product families. Evaluation tools are now available for all product families. Soon to be available is a demonstration PCB without FPGA on board, but with either FMC, HM, HSMC or SMA daughter cards or mezzanine cards for easy interconnection with FPGA evaluation kits. Next step up in NXP's excellence of support is the NXP Data Converters website that will be completely reshaped, allowing fast access to product information tools and ordering. In the meantime, we'll introduce an online simulation or emulation tool that will provide instantaneous product performance data
for a specific point of operation. We conclude here with a quick summary of the values proposed by NXP's high-speed data converters. Indeed, you have seen that our solutions bring proven best-in-class ADC and DAC core dynamic performance, ultra-stable dynamic performance over the whole temperature range, optional input buffer, full digital interface support including LVCMOS, LVDS-DDR and the JESD204A. Thank you for your attention. Make a turn and welcome soon to your closest NXP contact.